Philadelphia. Welcome to the studios of Second Chance Television for the sermon summary for Sunday, 13 February 2022. Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God, today set aside all the hearts of Philadelphians at peace. When people have started complaining that from their observation, he is giving a special treatment to those in Accra. Stephen Adum Chedua, the voice of God, explained that that has not been the case because we must observe as Philadelphians that his ministry lives in the music industry. If we want to recall what the Zimbabwean prophet said some time ago, that he had observed something erupting in Ghana where we had a congregation of over 150,000 to 200,000, where we had a choir leader who was aged over 70 years plus, and uh, the congregation, that's the choir he was leading, was around 2,500 to about 5,000 people. He said, because of this, we should be very smart and also know that Philadelphia movement, as he said. So whatever happens, he is not really the author but he's controlled by the spirit, and the spirit is what directs him to do whatever occurs. So uh, the challenge is that we have a different method of worship at both Accra and Kumasi, so our hearts should be at peace. Stephen Adun Chiedua, the voice of God, went on to give a belated happy birthday to Apostle Jacob Tete of House of Glory Ministry, Abidjan in Cote d'Ivoire. He wished him a pleasant or glorious happy birthday, which was his golden jubilee. He also mentioned the fact that it was after he had celebrated his golden jubilee that he saw a lot of improvement in his ministry. And he prays to God that Apostle Jacob Tete must also receive such plenty blessings as God has ordained that this year is going to be a year of blessings and many blessings. So, Apostle and all your congregation, Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, sends his warmest greetings to you. He also moved on to explain that for a time now, it looks as if people are having challenges. This is because many are having an issue to deal with the way his messages come. He explained that for past, there has always been errors which change and they go with different uh, things. Significantly, he said whatever occurs is what brings about a reform. And that reform is what also brings about the necessary preparations to be able to curb the challenges that will occur. He noted that if there is, should be a warfare which requires that there is a warfare on the sea, it will be unproductive for one to train in the jungle where you'll be somersaulting, rolling from one tree to the other in anticipation that you are preparing to meet your enemy. Rather, the best approach should have been learning how to swim because you are not going to fight on the land, but rather you're going to have a warfare in the sea. He remembers a point in time when his father sent for him to come down from Abidjan to listen to a very important message for only to return to hear that uh, he was talking about an instance which occurred some time ago about a situation where it was believed that a rock was going to fall from the heavens onto the land which was going to crash it. He told him that this message could have been easily discussed on phone and wouldn't have needed him to travel down to explain to him. He is bringing our minds back to something that many of us are fallen for to. Because how come the stone is going to fall from the heavens? We all know that stones are usually on the ground and stuck to the ground. So is it going to be lifted up into the skies to an extent that is going to come down and fall heavily on us? that we are going to perish. And he is saying that we should be very careful and know what the seasons are. 
And also, it's because of these seasons that also support the government when it is making decisions about the army or the security agencies. There are times when he finds out that the challenges within the system are more within the communities, then more policemen are to be recruited and trained and so forth. If we have a lot of fire outbreaks, then it means there is a need to have more fire service people recruited and also trained. He continued to explain to us that we should know, as he started the past three weeks, he was taking us through the book of Ephesians from chapter 6, verse 10 onwards. And we had now moved to a point that we have passed through the first woe, passed through the second woe, and also passed through the third woe. And because of that, we have to know exactly what it entails. In our era, which is the third woe, it is hearsay that has become dominant and ruling all people in all walks of life. Even those at the church have also been moved by these particular strategies. It is a plan by Satan to make sure that man is not able to concentrate on what God can do. And because of that, it's using formulas, strategies, and plans to make sure that man is taken off course. This is what he called a bronsam, meaning that you are talking about somebody who consistently makes statements about something that even do not exist. They are here says this normally do not have any proof. And because of that, Satan is just a deceiver. He wants us to understand that in the first place, when you read from the book of Ephesians, it is talking about you not having any sort of challenge with flesh and blood. But what is happening? You see that after listening to this sermons or message from men of God, people even go into fiscals that they even have to fight fellow men who are blood. And because of the wiles of this Satan, they are able to bring out sugar-coated words, which are so sweet that you simply lose your focus. And that he, Seven Adum Chedua, the servant of God, has now come to make sure that he takes his people out of bondage. For God has proclaimed that at a point in time, he was going to gather his locked flock, which are wallowing within the land and have no owners. By this, he's saying that whatever has existed, like it happened during the time of Egyptians, where they thought that they had supreme power over the Israelis, that Pharaoh refused to allow the people of Israel to leave. At a point in time, he couldn't hold on and he had to leave. So all times in our life, there is the time for rescue and it will certainly happen. Stephen Adum Chedua, the voice of God, also explained to us that whatever we are encountering in this world really has already been ordained by God. He said the world is like a chart and it has a plan and any occurrence that goes from time to time has already been carved by God and it's not the handiwork of man. So whatever happens, we must really attribute it to God. And that is why he continues to confirm and retrace his stand that there is nothing beside God. Let us look at the major message for the day. We're going to read Ephesians 6 and hammer on verse 12. I'm reading. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Please, the key word is principalities. One. And then two, against powers. Three, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And then the last one, which is the fourth, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God, said, Satan, being quite crafty, has now found a formula which wherever you live within this world, you are at the center. He's trying all the four corners of the world 
to make sure that whether you are the west, east, north or south, there is a plan or a strategy which was simply going to take you off your heels for you to believe that there is something besides God. Now, when we take the first one, which is about principalities, he had explained to us before that when we talk about principalities, they are just hearsay or sayings that have been put there by our old generation. They are statements which were made without any concrete proof, but because they've passed through generation to generation, we are made to believe that, yes, our lifestyle is tied to such statements. To the point that you could even be told that as for you, there is no marriage in your home. And it is quite difficult for any lady in that family to get married. So you don't even have to worry yourself about it. This has happened through several generations to the point that mothers can point to the fact that their grandmothers are also or also went through the same. And they also couldn't get husbands, though they have kids. And they are now also at crossroads to know what their children are also going through. When this happens, what is the way out? These men of God are able to dwell on these things and tell you that they can now do something about it for you. That's where people will now give you prayer materials or take you through prayers, which will point to the fact that someone in the family is also the cause of your predicament. This Stephen Adunchidia, the voice of God, says that he disagrees and that all men of God should know, like we've already said, that there is this plan of God that makes things change as seasons also occur. And if anyone accuses him, then he's saying that it is because he's been able to liberate people who have hitherto been bonded by this hearsay which were related to principalities. For him, he's telling you that no matter what has been said, should a man of God dwell on that and tell you that because this has happened to your great ancestors and to your mother and even to yourself, he's going to do something about it for you, then make sure that that thing does not start with Satan and end in the name of Jesus Christ. He points out that if you're a man of God and you say that you have a solution, why is it that you will always start by telling the person that the challenge is from witchcraft and so many other things, but at the end of the day, you want to use the word of God to solve the problem? He continues to confirm the fact that Satan does not start any work or business for Jesus to come and also complete. It is neither here nor there. So if you believe in Jesus Christ, then you should believe in his stripes or changes that can always bring glory to your life. Now, let's move on to the next one, which talks about the powers. Many people continue to believe that there is something supernatural that the eye cannot see, and something that is always at the verge of attacking them. This sort of fright has also been capitalized because, like he said, Satan always continues to make sure that for the four corners, he attacks it. But luckily, Stephen Adun Chedia, the voice of God, has come to liberate us. But unfortunately, many have already failed the first test and have also encountered the second test. Pastors by themselves, you find them wearing rings, holding handkerchiefs, and you have people who have various talismans and other things, believing that there is something hitherto which is spiritual, and so there is a need for them to have a form of protection. And because of this, as a solution, men of God will also try and tell you that they can have powers, which will also be able to sort of give you protection against this hearsay. Now, they can tell you that they have family covenant prayer oil. They have spiritual marriage-breaking soap and so many other things. But all Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God, wants you to understand is that when a child is very stubborn, there is always 
a scarecrow that is used to make sure that the child becomes calm at points in time. So they'll be using cotton, they'll be using thread, and many other things. But when they find out that you are very stubborn, because this time, the children have become so sophisticated that when you even show the child a cockroach, that child will pick a sandals and want to kill that cockroach, meaning that the scarecrow will not function. And so they will want you to understand that whatever is used at that point should be related to God. And this scarecrow has been used, and because of that, there are many confusions in families, and people have even decided not to visit their families. Should they be prominent people, they will not want any family member to come close to, even to fetch water for them to drink, because they always believe that there is something that they can do spiritually against them. Rather, they will prefer aliens to be their aides, and these men of God have been able to use. When they are able to tell you that your mother is a witch, or your father is a wizard, what are you going to do? This mother who has taken care of you in the womb for nine months, breastfed you for over one and a half years, the toil that she goes through when there is this problem, when you are sick, all this you just wake up one day and tell him because she's a witch. You will not even find anything to support her. And this, Stephen Adum Chibia, the voice of God, said he has come so that mothers will have their heart at peace. And those of us who have already engaged in such pronouncement, we should make sure we help our parents so that they will not get into those challenges again. Now the next is that of those who believe that they have the power against the rulers of darkness in this world. Who are the rulers of darkness? In fact, when we talk about darkness, then you are talking about places where there is no light and light does not permit, so you cannot see anything. And because we cannot see anything, they have taken advantage to tell us that they can go into the spiritual world. And when they do that, they will come and give you a whole lot of information, which if you are not lucky and you accept into your fold, that will be the end of you. And Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God said, he had come to make sure that we do not stray, but rather always keep within the pen of Jesus Christ. For he has come to build the walls of Jerusalem to make sure that we are protected from wherever we are and not fall victims to these pastors of ours. And because of this, he said that they normally would tell you that they are going to break and lose what has been orchestrated against you at the church. But one other factor or point that we must take note is that if you don't believe in something, it doesn't become an abatros around your neck. What concerns, as Stephen Adum Chidia, the voice of God will say, what concerns an aeroplane with an overhead bridge? Overhead bridges are made for vessels or cars that are going to move over water, which have been disjointed or land. And we are talking about an aircraft which just travels solely in the air. It doesn't need any bridge to connect it from one point to the other. So why this relationship and these men of God have capitalized on us and because of that, they are able to give us all sort of problems. And after they have given us the problems, they take us through various directions at huge cost to us. And this, Stephen Adum Chidu, the voice of God, say, we should be smart and also be wise. Else, there's the time that the devil is going to devour us. Now, let's come to the final one. Spiritual wickedness. Stephen Adum Chidu, the voice of God, said, this is one of the major tools that the devil or Satan is using. This is used mostly or widely within the churches. And this is also a tool used by many men of God to draw congregations to their church. This spiritual wickedness emanates from situations where you have people who are sinners dying and they are not able to make it to heaven. They become demons. And because demons have lived on the earth, they have a lot of information 
and they can give us information which even uh, matches back to our ancestors. Things that are several years before we were born and we will have a proof of belief that yes, it has ever occurred. Severadum Chedu, the voice of God, says that should a child, a toddler, even say that the person is a witch, you find a lot of people drawing close to come and have or listen to whatever that child is going to say. That is why in his church or in his congregation, he tells you to shut up that nothing should manifest through you because that is exactly what Jesus Christ did. And he said that no person is capable more than the master. And what the master went through is likely what we're also going to go through. And because of that, we should have our eyes widely open. Now, when this has happened, they will tell you that, yes, the demons in your house are the cause of it. And this will take you through a whole lot of directions. It will drain you and your family, all the resources that you have ever gathered in this earth. And when it is done, you will now get to know that your house is a difficult one. And he asks whether your house was built out of um, iron or of metals. This is one of the major plans that has been hatched by the men of God and are using it to make sure they tear apart the people of God. Now, Stephen Adum Chedua is saying that he has come to set us free by giving us liberty, salvation, and edification. And this, you can only be able to get such freedom if you listen to the word of God and abide by it and make sure that you have done much about it. Now, he's telling us that it is not that far from us. All we need to do is to listen because a word to the wise is enough. He wants also for us to understand that when we talk about flesh and blood, which the Bible pointed out to, that our challenges are not from them. Unfortunately, we have been rather been misdirected. And because of that, even our neighbors, whoever are within our workplaces, we continue to look at them with an eye, which points to the fact that they are behind our problems or challenges. Rather, he's saying that we should have brotherly love and be able to care for our neighbors. And this is going to help us.